No reclamamos a Estados Unidos que cambie su sistema político y social. Raúl Castro doesn't speak in public much, unlike his brother Fidel used to, so his rare appearances are watched closely. This one was at an equally rare meeting of Cuba's parliament. Raúl touched on relations with the United States, telling deputies they'd held talks on several issues of late, suggesting that relations between the old ideological foes can be civilized. That is, he said, so long as neither country expects the other to change its politics. Si realmente deseamos avanzar en las relaciones bilaterales, if we really wish to advance our bilateral relations, we will have to learn to mutually respect our differences and to get used to living with them peacefully. That's the only way. Any other way, and we are willing to take another 55 years in the same situation. You don't have to worry. His comments followed this, the Cuban leader's first ever handshake with Barack Obama, a few seconds contact at the memorial service for Nelson Mandela. Officially, both sides dismiss it as mere courtesy, but others see a signal that things can change. That's partly because Cuba itself is changing. Raul Castro has overseen a series of reforms here, giving Cubans more economic freedom, whilst trying to ensure the socialist system survives. The latest step this week scrapped the need for special government permission to buy a car. The reforms have been slow going, though, and many Cubans are frustrated. But their president told them that's not going to change. Sin prisas, pero sin pausas. The reforms will proceed without haste, but without stopping, Raul Castro reiterated, and he warned that those pressing for faster change will cause the reforms to fail. He called Cuba's deputies to reconvene in spring and approve a new law on foreign investment. Limited until now, he says foreign funds will play an important role in Cuba's economic development. That's clearly needed. Despite the reforms, the government has admitted that the economy here grew more slowly than predicted last year, and that this year's prospects are even worse. Sarah Rainsford, BBC News, Havana.